Thanks for stopping. What a place to break down, huh? I guess you need a ride. You mind? Hop in. For a lizard, what is it, a baby dinosaur? It's a snake. What uh, kind of snake? A mean one. Oh, great. Look, it ain't getting out of there, so relax. How far is the nearest town? A little place called uh, San Catalano, just up ahead. Wait, you just dropped me off there. <laughs> I'll be back as soon as I can. Nice to meet you, finally. Hey, how you doing? Oh, you have any trouble finding us? Nah, just following signs. San Diego County's fastest growing community, huh? Yeah, well, I hope it doesn't grow too fast. Well, it's nothing like what you're used to. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be staying on for an extra week. Uh, make sure you get squared away. Good. <laughs> I'll take all the help I can get. What's that? That, my friend, is the reason I'm getting the hell out of Dodge. I noticed that new development on the way into town. How could you miss it? I don't care what anybody says. I think it's a damn eyesore. And now they got this phase two, it's going to be twice as bad. Yeah, I heard Caltrans going to put a highway through here. You know, when I first moved here, it was like paradise on earth. I mean, it was special. Now it's going to be like every place else. Yeah, 
That's what they call progress. Yeah, well, I'm in the vast minority. Everybody else around here thinks Max Farrington's God. Max Farrington? I'm not gonna poison the well. You'll meet him soon enough. Make up your own mind. Consistent isn't good enough. We need sales to be booming, and we need to get to the next level, no matter what it takes. I'm already working a seven-day week. I've given up having any kind of a social life. Well, there's not much of a social life to be had in this town, but that's all gonna change. You watch. Mm, well, not that I'm in any kind of a hurry. At least this job puts back what you put into it, unlike most relationships. Oh, by the way, Johnny's been asking about you. Well, I don't think we have much in common. I don't know. I think it'd be a pretty good workout partner. I'll stick with my Stairmaster, thank you very much. Look, man, I, I, I don't mean to be ragging on you, but I've got a lot invested in this project, and now I'm starting to catch heat from the lenders. I know, it's okay. Let's go to the picnic, huh? Okay. Is he gonna fight with it though? Because he's gonna no, be used to make, it being around. They make a wonderful couple. You like it here. The people are real. And if you need help, they'll be there for you. Oh, sure. Oh! George, I thought you were going fishing. I am. First, I have to break in our new fire chief. This is our new fire chief. Well, hello. It's very nice to meet you. I'm Vera. Are you single? <laughs> Vera owns a local pet shop. You know, if a cat gets stuck in a tree, they call Vera before they call the fire department. Hey, did I hear something about a new fire chief? Mr. Mayor, have you met Vic? So far, we've just talked on the phone. Oh, yeah, now, I'm impressed. I mean, you got the whole town out here to greet me. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that you mention it, follow me. Uh, oh, uh, to answer your question, I am. Don't be shy. Come on. Come on, come on. Follow me. <laughs> Hello, folks. Hello, kids. Hello, dogs. Well, as we all know, our beloved and longtime fire chief is retiring, going fishing. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce you to our new fire chief, Vic Rondelli. So let's give him a sincere small town welcome, shall we? Thank you. Thanks, Thanks very, very much. much sir. Well, that really did sound, sound sincere. sincere. Listen, about being behind schedule well, and the pressure that we're under, that's I'm just between you and I, okay? Here. Of course, Max. Oh, there's Bill uh, Murray. See you. I got a lot to learn about this place and about all of you, so... You're welcome to stop by the firehouse anytime and introduce yourself. So, uh... Well, I'm gonna try to do the best job I can, and, uh... Well, the only thing I ask is, somebody save a burger for me. <laughs> He's adorable, don't you think? Very. All of us enjoying our families, enjoying the students. With so many new people moving here, planning is essential. Especially if we want to keep San Catalano the you way know, we uh, like it. I don't believe we've met. No, we haven't. But I already know all about it. <laughs> well, I've only been in town for now. <laughs> Welcome to Small Town USA. We really do if we think about it. Now, I want to take this opportunity to introduce... What's that? 
part of the Farrington team. Makes my job a whole lot easier. If you've met her, you can't help but love her. Our VP in charge of sales and marketing is Mandy Stratford. I'm on. Mandy? Thank you, Max. You're welcome. Well, I just wanted to add a warm welcome to all of our guests who are joining us today. Please feel free to mingle with the homeowners, enjoy all of the food, and ask me any questions that you might have. God, what happened? He's dead. What? I guess he was bitten by a rattlesnake. D did you see it? No. I never heard of anyone dying that quickly from a rattlesnake bite. I am so sorry. If you need anything, please call me. Did you? I know I should bring some. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There are, there are no words to describe how terribly I feel for you two right now. I'm sorry, folks, but I need to get some information. Look, uh, why, don't, why don't we go do this someplace else, okay? Do you need a ride back to the station? Yeah, sure. No, I've never seen anyone die so quickly from a snake bite. Do you know a lot about rattlesnakes? I was deputy fire chief in a suburb of Tucson. We get half a dozen rattlesnake bites every summer. No one ever died. Lacey said the snake was huge. Well, I'm sure it looked huge to her. Women tend to exaggerate these things. Excuse me? Well, you know how women are when it comes to snakes and spiders. 